Yeah. Great. Nice and relaxing there tonight, today, mate. Yeah. Sharp work. Push everything on the pad with a kick. <laughs> work on your movement. Don't worry about power too much. Just sharpness. <laughs> Quick reactions. <laughs> yeah. Feeling good? Yep. Good one. Let's go. Aggressive, violent, and it's just a mistake fighting me because it's not going to end well. You're not beating me, it's my ring. I started kickboxing when I was 12. It's all I do every day, train. It is my life, like, I wouldn't have anything if I didn't fight and train. push myself and the reason I get up early to go train is because I know that my opponents won't be training when I am. <laughs> Fighting's like in my blood, I've got to keep up to the standard of everyone else in my family and I'm in there to prove a point, not just to take the belt. I don't care about winning belts and stuff like that, I, I'm just to fight, I want to win. Um, I'll tell you, my most memorable fight is when I fought someone called Judd Button. He was number one in the UK and three-time world champion, I believe, in kickboxing and runner-up European champion. He just kept walking forward and I found an opening for a jumping back kick and it just landed perfectly in his stomach and just dropped him. So I was, I was quite proud of that, I suppose. It was really good. At the end of the day, it's a, it's a respectful, clean sport. It's not like we're going to fight in the street or anything like that. But when it comes to the ring, they don't actually see the person you are outside of it. They just see what you do when you're fighting and they judge you by your fight instead of your personality. You don't see who a fighter is. You need to get to know them. It's not just what you see in the ring. But if you, if you want to meet both personalities, you should come to the show. You'll see the, the, the people after the fight and in the fight. And it's just a good way to recognise that fighters aren't just aggressive people. Like, I've got a lot of people that look up to me and that just shows that I'm not a violent person. Well, he's my legal guardian, uh, if anything was to happen to my mum, so we're reasonably close. I'd call I'd definitely say he's my brother. Um he's like I wouldn't I wouldn't say a father figure, but in a way I would as well because I look up to him and he guides me in a good way. But yeah, I see I see him as family. I don't see just a coach. So when I go to the gym I see a home, it's it's just my second family. 
Yeah. I teach kids three days a week. I need to give back to them and make sure they've got the opportunity I was given by helping them and showing them different things and what I did do and didn't do correctly in the ring. It's just important to me because I got given opportunities by my coach after losing a lot of fights and um, he, I ended up going and winning the world championships and everything because he gave me the opportunities and believed in me and we have quite a few kids that are going through the same as what I did with the fights and not believing in himself and I just want to give him the potential of actually becoming something like I did. I actually started kickboxing because I was quite an aggressive uh, kid. I've got like uh, autism and ADHD so that it helped to reduce like my stress and anger and everything that helped calm me down quite a lot and it's just a really good relief of anger really. I, I went through a really hard time um, with like family and my dad and stuff like that and kickboxing and the gym um, and just being on the fight circuit helped keep me who I am now and just to make me happier I suppose. I'm Keegan Roberts, I've known him since I've started this gym, I've been here for about four years, he's been about five, so I've known him since then, and he's funny, surprising, and sometimes crazy. Taylor Sellers, no Craig because he's sparring partner. Uh, I'd say he's cheeky, quick and loyal. I know Lewis Tory, I know Craig through the gym, been training here for about a year, so I know him and his mum. Uh, three words, uh, arrogant but endearing. <laughs> um, loyal, um, family orientated and quite a chilled out person. Yeah, totally different to when I'm in the ring.